And well, hello there, everyone. It's been a while. Uh, I've been posting about once a week, and I've been pretty busy. Thanks very much for the messages. Some of you sort of contacted me wondering where I am. But you know, just a lot of things happening in my little life right now. But so far, so good, pretty happy. And one of the things I'm happy about is I am doing some upgrades with my little minivan camper van conversion so you could probably see it one of the things i did was i did add some lights now i don't think i posted the video for it yet on how i added these lights uh like for example this one here but it added a it added it added lights it added it, it a nice vibe to it so and also just more light i'm able to control it and maybe i'll go into that as well but the next video you're going to see is a um it's like a baking video, very simple. I, I went to a store, I picked up some uh, quiche and I used a, uh, a casserole, that's what it's called. <laughs> I've been calling it this pot, but it's basically a casserole and I turned it into sort of like an, an oven, like a, I think the term is a Dutch oven. I'm still trying to get my terminology because what I'm finding with van life, with doing this kind of stuff is there's certain things that you could use in that that would be like a, an equivalent to what you wanted to do. In this case here, I did have this Coleman oven, but the setup of it was a bit too much. I think it's great. I, I still have it, but if I, if I'm camping, it's a good it's a good choice. But if I'm just sort of doing what I'm doing right now, where I'm sort of like stealthily in a van, then the solution that I'm about to show you next is probably the best one. So have a look at it. At that time, uh, I was in the parking lot. Uh, I'd, I'd been there for two hours. I, I did mention I was there for about two hours. It didn't take two hours to cook, but I was there and it was still quite winter. Now it's turning into spring. It's quite nice. And I'm looking forward to some really good weather. Um, and I think it'll be much warmer when I, when I do my trail runs or trail walks and hiking and looking forward to doing some more stuff. But aside from that, uh, thanks very much for, for visiting me and also messaging me. And I really appreciate and enjoy the comments. And you know, if you, if you like the video, if, if, you, if you find stuff here that's helpful, uh, please let me know. Um, you can also uh, subscribe. Uh, so like, subscribe, and share the video. Okay, it's coming up soon, and thanks very much, and have a great day. And remember, you're awesome. Bye-bye. Well, hey there, guys, and well, hello there. So what I'm doing here right now is I picked up some mini quiche, and I've got this pot here that's going to act like my little oven, and I've got the quiche over here. So right now, I'm just heating it up. It's only about 40 seconds, and like with anything, anytime you do a combustible, in an enclosed space make sure you have proper airflow i've got windows open at the front there so everything's good i've also got my carbon monoxide detector so everything's very cool that way so all i did here was i just pushed my laptop to the side there and i've got this happening and if i open this up here i've got that in there so i'm going to be placing the quiche in there and see how well this actually works it's going to be pretty straightforward it acts like a little oven and so that I don't completely burn myself, I have these oven mitts right here so that, because I know this gets really hot. And the other thing I also have ready is a fire extinguisher, just in case it gets too crazy. I love the name though, Cuisine Adventures. So here, we're not using an air fryer. We're not using a microwave oven. And this is more like an unconventional oven. So... I guess none of this really applies, but I guess I could use the conventional oven as a guide. So I'm guessing it says here it has to heat on middle oven rack rock oven rock for oven rack for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm guessing let's say about five minutes. Oops, there it goes. Five minutes uh, based on this middle heat that I've got right there. And another thing to keep in mind is I have like I would call I guess a safe area where if I needed to place something I place it here so here I've got this grill so I can place it there and then I can effectively just pick it off over here and then plop it there okay like that so I could just place it here knowing that it's not going to burn anything or melt anything well okay guys here we go so what I did was I fit the whole thing in 
and I'm going to probably reduce the heat because I could see it burning. I kind of I can kind of smell it burning, so I'm going to reduce the heat. And you know what, guys? I think it's working. It actually smells pretty good in here. And so here it is. I picked this up at Giant Tiger. So Cuisine Adventures. Yeah, so here I am. I've been here for about a couple of hours. And I am in the parking lot. There's PetSmart and Giant Tiger was right there. It is Giant Tiger. You just see the giant. And come back here. And surprisingly, there isn't a lot of condensation. And that's because I have windows open at the front. Right now, my feet are a bit cold, but that's okay. Now, seeing that it's already pretty, like, pre-cooked, and I'm just heating it up, I'm going to change the, the heat setting here so that it's a little lower, and it'll just be a low heat. Low heat, that way it doesn't burn it. That's what my dad always says. Low heat, cooking low heat. As in low key. Let's take a look here. Oh man, looks pretty good. And this uh, handle here is very hot. I'm gonna have to put the gloves on. Well, it looks like it's that time. I set it for five minutes and I'm gonna look inside here. Ooh, it's beautiful. So I've got it running still and I took a couple out and you know it smells really good. I'm going to try it now. Okay, there we go. Boy, okay. So I'm going to try it right now and I'll just use my hands. Okay, it was five minutes. I think it needs about ten minutes because right now it's still cold. It tastes good. Yeah, it tastes really good. I think this was a success. Mmm. Yeah. So, um, uh, this is definitely a cuisine adventure. Mini quiche. Giant tiger. I think it was like for... Four bucks, not even three, three bucks, three fifty. Mm. Thank you. And there you have it. Please support my channel by commenting and subscribing. It's free, and it can help you with your own tiny home build. As I will be giving out free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen. And if you believe someone else may benefit, please share the video or my curated playlist.